Здравейте! Намираме се на раздаването на наградите на Energy Risk за цялостен принос в енергийните пазари, както и за наградите за 2014. Blue Monday проведаха търг, за да могат да съберат средства за Kids Care Charity. Бяха също раздадени и пликове по масите, където много хора спонсорират нашата инициатива. И искам изключително много да благодаря на организатора тази вечер, който ни даде възможност да присъстваме тук, Петко Петков. Искам да те попитам, защо ни даде тази възможност, защо подкрепеш нашата кауза? Защото е много благородна целта на благотворителната организация и никой до сега не е опитвал да да събере средства за подобна кауза и защото имаме и възможност и имаме желание за това. Деси, кое те накара да се захванеш с тази дейност? Аз не вярвам в случайности. За мен възможността беше предоставена от филма на BBC, документален филм за сиропиталището в Могилино, където всички знаем какви ужасни условия живеят децата, как смъртността е висока и как ако най-добрият им шанс е да останат инвалиди, ако не смърт. Затова ние като общество трябва да имаме силно мнение, силен натиск върху това да се направят радикални промени. Затова да ни обърнат внимание от правителството, където могат да направят големите промени наистина. Ние имаме вече 24 спасени деца и малко по малко, наистина, капка по капка правим промяна, но има още 6000 деца в тези институции, които искаме да спасим. И единствените спасители може да са от държавата, държавните институции. И с помощта на всеки един от вас, всяко едно мнение обществено, всеки един натиск може да помогне и помогне. Разбира се, помощ към Kids Care Charity, както и обща заинтересованост наистина. Моля, интересувайте се. Good evening. My name is Desi Lambina and I work as a business manager at HSBC. I'm a mother of two lovely boys and I'm privileged to be here this evening to share a life-changing opportunity. The Helsinki Committee conducted a research in 2009 which showed that in the past 10 years there have been 238 deaths most of which avoidable. The cause of these things um, was mainly famine, violence, physical deterioration, resulting from neglect and long-term immobility, bad hygiene. Some children had frozen to death. Others got suffocated and others drowned. And things haven't changed since this documentary uh, that the BBC produced in 2009, The Abandoned Children of Bulgaria. When I saw this, I was personally shaken and I got involved. At first, we supported the care homes with material donations, but I soon realized that nicer shoes didn't make a good living for those children and their environment was still the same. I'd like to present Fatima, who survived the care home, and her case is very typical. She was born prematurely, but healthy. Her mother left her immediately after birth, and they never met again. In the two years she spent in the institutions, she developed social deficiencies, physical disabilities, intellectual deficiencies, She could not walk, having hardly ever left her cot. She could not chew solids and had the stereotypical rocking, which is the only form of entertainment in the care homes. She could not feed herself. 
or drink from a cup. The objective of Kids Care is to help prevent this from happening. By supporting a licensed foster care provider, we have the amazing opportunity to take those children out of the care homes and place them in safe home environment. They can develop as normal human beings as, and, and as normal members of our society and, and not a burden. We have looked after Fatima for a year now and um, she is a healthy and happy child. As a result of our work, a team of a few members um, here in the UK as volunteers um, and a social worker in Bulgaria and a psychologist. We have so far placed 24 children in home environment where they are looked after and they're safe. The way we do this is by campaigning for foster care applicants. So we research, train and register them those um, applicants, which takes um, a long time, about six months. We hold matching meetings of child and registered foster carer. We place the child in the foster family and we continue to monitor and support them through to the provision of permanent care for the child. With your support, we can help more children find a family and have a fighting chance. I'll be at table 15 if you'd like to hear more about our charity um, and um, get to know um, our children as well. Um, and I wish you a very uh, happy evening. Thank you for your attention. <laughs>